Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about our warm water system. How we get hot showers during this world trip. We already filmed the video about the complete water system including the inside tank, the drinking water tank and also the PVC shower. We are really happy with the PVC system. We have had this system for many years already. Before we had a tube that it was painted black and it was great during the summer because when you get direct sun it gets really warm. But the reality is that 90% of the time it doesn't get warm enough. We decided against going for a boiler especially for two reasons. First of all it takes a lot of space and we already are in the limit. <laughs> and second it is very energy intensive so we will need a lot of our solar to be able to run the boiler. Instead, we decided to go for a heat exchanger connected to the engine. But more to that from Kai. Here in the engine bay we have a heat exchanger that's on one side connected to the heating circuit and on the other side we connect our shower. We are basically using the heat that the engine is producing. In a car that's waste and you get rid of it uh, through the radiator or you use it to heat the cabin inside. We put the heat exchanger in this position to be able to harvest the heat that after driving is stored in the engine. The engine is weighing roughly two, three hundred kilos of steel so it stores a lot of heat. So you can shower with two or three people with a warm shower that's enough heat that's stored into the engine. The whole assembly consists of the plate heat exchanger which is normally used in um, household when you have city heating. Then I fitted an extra electrical coolant pump to recirculate the coolant around the engine so I don't have to run the engine while we are showering. And because the heat exchanger was so efficient that you would burn yourself when the engine is hot, we put in an uh, automatic mixing valve. This side of the heat exchanger, that's the inlet, that's the outlet for the uh, shower water or the clean water and this is the coolant side. The cold water enters here, flows through the heat exchanger, gets heated up to 85-90 degrees and then goes into the mixing valve. And also on this side of the mixing valve we have access to the cold water. So we mix it to a temperature that's nice to shower and here's the exit. The, the heat exchanger is connected in a way that we use the hot water that comes out of the cabin heater then goes through the coolant pump and into the heat exchanger. Here's the inlet, there's the outlet and then flows back into the engine. You can put the system into every car basically. You just need to find the coolant hoses that are connected to the small coolant circle. That's the circle that's not connected to the radiator. A car works in a way that in the beginning, when, you, when the engine is cold, you first warm up a small cycle that's normally connected to your cabin heater. And after that, your thermostat opens the big coolant cycle and you flow coolant through the radiator to get rid of more heat. But in the beginning, you want to heat up the engine fast. That's why you have a small coolant cycle. And that's the coolant cycle you want to use with this heat exchanger. If you have located your small coolant circuit, you need to cut one of the hoses, put in your electric coolant pipe so you don't need to run the engine, and then your heat exchanger from like one side. And on the other side you can put your connectors for your water tank or however you want to use your water. And that's basically, it. it's a really easy system. It doesn't cost you anything to heat up water because every time you drive, you heat up your engine and you store a lot of energy in your engine. And you can harvest that energy without any problem every time you drove. For people that have uh, 
hot water heater or like an uh, auxiliary engine heater I would always put the heat exchanger right after the auxiliary heater so you could always turn on your auxiliary heater and make warm water with the auxiliary heater as well. The best to know where to put your heat exchanger is to look up where in your car would be the auxiliary heater. A lot of people have an auxiliary heater to heat up the engine in the winter and exactly in this place you want to have your heat exchanger. To use the shower we connect the 12 volt inline pump to our water then connect the hose to the cold water side that's connected to the heat exchanger and to the mixing valve and then you just connect your shower hose to the outlet we have the mixing well set to a nice shower temperature. Um, there's not much you can set, so we marked it to have it always right. Then basically switch on your coolant pump, switch on your water pump and you're good to shower. Those heat exchangers come in different sizes. There is one smaller size and several bigger sizes. This one works well, the water is most of the time too hot. That's why we need the mixing valve, so you can even use a smaller one. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. We will link the heat exchanger, the mixing valve and the coolant pump in the description, so you can easily find them and build your own hot water shower system. Thank you for watching. Until then, enjoy the ride. Hi and welcome. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Wait. Does it do with custom there? Water system. How we get hot water? Fuera, fuera. This is a joke. Do. Talk about. <laughs> I cannot anymore. Wait, again. Just an idea. It's weird with you two, no, I just... Stop.